Welcome to Recruiting for Utopia Print and the Imagination. My name is Shana Dumont Arb, and I'm a curator based at Bergman's Museum in Harvard, Massachusetts, a property of the trustees. Um, this exhibition has both a historical part and a contemporary part, um, featuring work by 15 artists and or artist groups. And that exhibition will have its own tour, and it's in a nearby building, our Wayside Gallery, just across the path from the art gallery where we are right now. So we are in the historic section of Recruiting for Utopia. In fact, we are in 1840s. Uh, almost everything in this show focuses on that decade when, kind of like the times we're living now, there was a lot of worry and overlay with our everyday for very really different reasons. But in the way it's expressed, that's what we're focusing on in terms of graphic design, font choice, how found imagery uh, blends with text and numbers um, to be convincing and to also help people find community and find support um, in causes that they believe are really important. So I wanted to share the works of art that really inspired this exhibition. While not everything in the show is Millerite, this chronological chart of the visions of Daniel and John certainly is. And the Millerites were a sect of the Protestants. They were founded by uh, Father William Miller, who grew up on a farm and was self-taught. And as he read the Old Testament, he became convinced that the world would end on March 21st, 1843. And for the purposes of this little gallery tour, I will not get into everything about why, but I can tell you if you look up the Millerites on your favorite podcast device, you will find some really interesting tellings of the Millerites and how they got to this really specific date. Um, short, short answer is that they took numbers and then did a year to day translation of them. So something that might have been said as a day in the Bible became a year, and then they added those years, and oh my god, it's suddenly the 1840s. However, the great disappointment happened after three times they didn't get the right date. And this was the first of three. Um, then, after being the Millerites, they transitioned to being um, the Adventists. And so we have a later date on this banner, and you can see that this is um, on fabric. And if you, you'll note that there's a lot of similarities, although it's a horizontal. We have found imagery as a lithograph um, and a combination of numbers. In this case, a lot of them are just years, along with um, some words. And they were working with the year 1854. And then if we look up, we'll see an even later date. And this is a Seventh-day Adventist banner made in Texas in the early 1900s. And you'll note that this one is not made with printing, but rather it's handwritten. But there are some similarities. I think you'll notice that um, there are lots of, um, it looks like a timeline, and it does move from left to right. And we have a combination of imagery, in this case some horses in different colors, um, and an altar that looks rather grim, and um, phases of the moon and stars, and we have numbers and we have words, combining together to really get people's attention. Um, and the Millerites, um, one out of every four New Englanders were familiar with Millerite ideas um, at the time period where they were at their peak. Um, printed matter was one of their strengths, and this is, um, this is a two-scale reproduction um, that Thank you to the Boston Athenaeum for letting us use this image. But this would have been a handout. And you would see the, it almost seems like a progression of a beast, and it's written in a narrative style. So it's their ideas written in a narrative style. Um, something, if we come back to this one, might have had your preacher holding kind of like a stick, a pointer, and kind of lecturing the group. <laughs> um, his intention really would to be to get to your attention and really to invoke some fear and to get you to um, want to join them in preparing for the end of the world. Um, so for now, I'm gonna leave it there, but I will join you again in other videos to show you some of my other favorite works in Recruiting for 